check out that message I sent you if we can. Welcome to Late Night with Bobby Tyler Show. I'm your host, Bobby Tyler. And today, our first guest in this corner, the middleweight champion of the world, Julius the Chef Jackson, weighing in at 98 pounds. Welcome to the show, Julius. How you doing? I'm doing good, Bobby. How are you, man? How are you? Good, man. So, um... That's good. Did you... Did, now, you, you're three-time middle cha middleweight champion of the world... And your father, the hardest punching man in history, Julian Jackson, three-time middleweight champion of the world, correct? Yeah, my, my dad, yeah, my dad is three-time uh, middleweight champion of the world, you know, he, he's inducted to the Hall of Fame, um, he's actually been inducted to two, two Hall of Fames, uh, the International Boxing Hall of Fame and the World Boxing Hall of Fame. Nice! Um, he recently got uh, a letter to be inducted into a third Hall of Fame, uh, which is the Las Vegas Boxing Hall of Fame. Um, so that hopefully will be happening this summer. Excellent. And have you been inducted also into the Hall of Fame yet? Oh no, no, man. Not yet. And I, I'm, I'm a super, I'm a super middleweight champion. My dad is is middleweight, but I'm a super middleweight champion. Yeah, but you you were also the Olympic. Uh, your brother yes. too, John, Olympic, right? Yes. Tell me we a little. Both, yes, we both uh, are 2008 Olympians. Yes, sir. 2008. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> Yeah, that was a great experience, you know. Um, uh, my dad actually didn't get to go to the Olympics, um, and so we kind of made that dream come through for him. Uh, we were able to make it to China in, in 2008, and uh, that was a big, big feat for us. Um, we didn't even know that we could qualify. Uh, you know, being from St. Thomas, as you know, Tyler, you lived here a while. Uh, it's a small island, and we, we never imagined ourselves on that kind of stage. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been living there off and on for thirty years in in Savan in the worst worst neighborhood in the world. Now I'm living in the most. I moved. You know where I where we lived. You know where I lived the other the other time you came up to my house. Right. I moved. Remember all the woods and forests you can see from my house. Mm -hmm. I moved the there. So, yep. so I got deer in the backyard. Most elite neighborhood in Napa now. So I went from living in. The worst ghetto and the little two mile wide, thirteen mile island to the most elite part of Napa Valley, you know. And I'm out of that place where you couldn't park. Remember all the cars lined up? Yeah, I remember now, that. Now it's like it's like lap of luxury, right? Awesome, awesome. So yeah, I was So yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, big feet, man, big feet for us and um we are really proud that we were able to um, you know, represent the Virgin Islands there and also um give our dad that gift and he you know he made it to the good so yeah how did he feel about that yeah he was uh ecstatic um he, he was so proud and um uh, you know just happy to be a part of it so he's elated are you in st thomas now yes sir yes sir in st thomas now and and, and you had the, the the brothers workshop bakery yeah so that's that's where i'm at right now um we just finished the day today. Um, you know, being in this time that we're in with this pandemic going on, um, there's a lot of people that are in need. You know, a lot of jobs are gone. Um, a lot of people don't want to interact with their elderly family members uh, because they're mostly at risk. And so um, we decided here at uh, My Bits Workshop to help with that demographic of people that need that help. Um, we decided to uh, do a Meals on Wheels program. Nice. Uh, that, we, that we rolled out and uh, we're feeding. Today we hit uh, about 480 meals today uh, that we're delivering. Yeah. So it's um it's a big it's a great thing. No, I'm, I'm just happy that uh, I'm part of it. You know, we have a great team here at my brother's workshop, and uh, we we've been you know knocking it out. <laughs> yeah. Patch me in on when I post this. Patch that in as a comment. You know. And okay. like like a lot of wealthy people in Napa, right? You guys got to put some money into this, right? You know. <laughs> so yeah, you know. I mean, you know, because uh, I had to go to the food bank every Saturday. So I'm I'm 62. I'm retired. I get about 800 a month. My rent for a room is 800 a month. So I got to go to the food bank. Right. Right. So so I'm I'm like, you know, uh, I'm like three years older, younger than your dad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I met your dad, I was hitchhiking up in the jungle, right? Way up in oh, yeah. uh, upper John Don Co. And he gave me a ride hitchhiking. I didn't know who he was for a couple months, you know. Nicest <laughs> guy in the world. You offered me a ride uh, from the hookah club, where all the hookahs were. Yes, yes, I and, and, that. Yeah, yeah. To Savan. 
And and yeah. I mean, you guys are like I like the best, you know. I mean, big, I big, big heart I and, and oh my God, no one else would give you a ride. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. We just try to, uh, you know, show up to everybody. You know, everybody deserves love. So, uh, you know, we're all humans. We all are in this together. You know, so that's how my dad raised us, and um, we definitely live by that. Yeah, and you guys were just blessed with this talent, you know, um, in in the boxing game. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, it's um, we've been doing it a long time. You know, uh, my dad actually got to go to the Olympics again um, with our stepbrother. Uh, the, the year uh, in 2012, 2012, he was able to go again. So uh, we have a, a household of Olympians. <laughs> nice. I was in St. Thomas in 2011, 2012. So mm-hmm. I didn't go anywhere for a year. I just stayed in Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that's 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 amazing. I mean, I mean, in the world travel, you've been everywhere, you know, which yeah, man, very yeah. few people on the island get to do that, you know. I mean, yeah, not a lot of people get to do that. Um, you know, and I, I kind of took up the responsibility, you know, being, uh, you know, the levels that I've been able to reach. Um, it definitely is a kind of an eye, an eye opener, you know, for the generation after me. Um, not a lot of them think that uh, that's reachable or attainable. Um, and I'm glad that I could, you know, be an example. You know, I've lived here, you know, my almost my whole entire life. I've done, I've trained here, uh, you know, won titles, being here at home um, was featured on the Food Network and the Cooking Channel. Living here, um, and so I think showing them that things can be done from the Virgin Islands, even though we're a small little place, uh, the sky's the limit. Anything is possible. Uh, yeah. Just work for it. You know, believe in yourself. Uh, you know, be smart. Learn. You know, learn from the people that have done it before you, and it, it's possible. You know, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. And you, you have a cooking show. You are a chef. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's a crazy um dynamic, but um it's me, you know, it's who I am. You know, food food is another passion of mine, you know, it's it's what I like to do. I, I love to eat, so I learned to cook and um, it's been amazing. Have you heard of that uh, CIA California Institute of Amer- Culinary Institute of America? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, we, we kind of drove by America. that area when I was ch- yeah, no, chauffeuring no. you around here. And then we went to uh, to eat. Remember at that restaurant? What did you think about the yeah. California cuisine? With with well, you've been to California oh, man, a million times, but you know, I mean, we had the salmon, I think, right. or something. Yeah, yeah, that food was amazing, and I, I love the ambiance of the, the restaurant. Um, you know, it was, it was pretty rustic, pretty chill. You know, it's like uh, it's really like good vibes. it's like Apernay and all those places that right. used to be down in Frenchtown back 30 years ago. You know, with the sushi right, and, right. Uh, and nice. Uh, right. Same kind of atmosphere. The chart house. I don't know Mm -hmm. if you remember that, but yeah, Mm -hmm. back in the day, all the really high, high, high high-end clientele, you know. Right. Exactly. And and you and what what kind of a you cook every kind of cuisine or is there? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm classically trained. You know, I went to culinary school in Florida, um, so I'm, I'm trained French and Italian classical food. Um, but uh, I'm from that Caribbean, so I do a lot of Caribbean food. Um, I actually released a, a Caribbean cookbook um, in 2017 uh, called My Modern Caribbean Kitchen. Uh, so you guys can go check that out. It's on Amazon. Uh, you can get it on barnesandnoble.com as well. Um, it's called My Modern Caribbean Kitchen and um, has great you know dishes that I grew up on here in the Virgin Islands. You know your oxtails, stewed chicken, you know your seasoned rice and peas, you know things like that. Johnny cakes, of course. Johnny cakes. Uh, I know you like a good Johnny cake. Johnny cakes. <laughs> I haven't had a Jenny cake for about 30 years, but I, I remember those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they have the, uh, yeah, the um, what is that? That It's like a corn paste, cornmeal paste. Uh, um, yeah, the fungi. Fungi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's in there too. <laughs> you know, roti. <laughs> roti, uh, yeah. Pate. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Pate, I got some good pate recipes in there as well. I grew up on oxtail soup, but but we it was more Irish, you know, Scott Irish and English. I got the oh, Scott, yeah. Scottish flag up here, you know, uh, yeah, see represent, that. you know, <laughs> little Cherokee. Right. But yeah, we we'd have uh, my parents would get that because they would throw away the oxtail in the '60s, so they chopped the tail off, you know. And right. my dad, barley and oxtail stew, you know, mm. all the time. That's what we the little bones. That's delicious. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. So yeah, and yes, potatoes, sir. lots of potatoes, you know. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. So you got 20 wins out of 22 fights. Yes, sir. 16 by KO, 16 by knockout. Yes. That's amazing. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's a wild Yeah, one. yeah. That's, that's yeah, man. I, I, I actually don't see myself as a knockout, you know, puncher like my dad. Um, but they, they've been dropping, man. Um, it, it's kind of always a surprise to me when, <laughs> when, when I do uh, put them down. But um, it's been good, some good rides so far. Yeah, your dad, he'd point at the mat and they would go to that point. <laughs> he was just like, <laughs> boom, and he'd point and they go. And, yeah. <laughs> and he, the hawk, Jul- Julian the hawk Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah he's amazing. Yeah, he's a wild man. <laughs> Tell you. So I got, I got some awards, and the nominees are Julian Jackson and also Julius Jackson. And the winner is, let me open this up. Oh, Julius Jackson. So we have this award, and this shows you knocking this guy down to the mat, right? From <laughs> one of our sponsors, you know, that, that supply our awards. And uh, we have like 12 sponsors. You have a sponsor. Uh, you have Cardo's, right? Yeah, yeah, I work with Cardo Jewelers quite a bit. Um, you know, they're jewelry, they're the only locally owned jewelry company here in St. Thomas. Um, they have a, a great Virgin Island watch that's beautiful, um, and they do great work. They make great jewelry here on island. Yeah, it's got your like little picture or something on the watch, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 we do. That's cool. <laughs> Send me one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got you, man. G- give me some swag. Give me some gear. I want to put where the where the three the 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 three four zero. Oh. Jacket, the boxing logo. Yeah, Yeah, that is that is um, pretty wild. So, how's your weather? Oh man, it's hot, man. It's hot. You know, we were this this at this time of year it would be carnival time, Um, and you know it gets pretty pretty hot during carnival. Um, Yeah. And so the temperature is definitely up in the the 89, 90s right now. So. Wow, and humid. As you get into August, it gets even more humid. I always get off the yeah. plane in August, and I step off the plane, and I'm like, ah, it's a sauna. Yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah, why. Even though we got the breeze, the breeze is still blowing, you know, but uh, it still gets, it gets pretty hot here. Now, is the, is the Marriott, is, what is it, the Marriott's on, on uh, Morningstar Beach? Is that the name of the hotel? Not Marriott's. Um, yeah, the Marriott, yeah. Marriott. yeah is that open yeah. yet? No, not yet. No, um, no I, I think they're looking to open... I think next year. Yeah, they had a couple yeah. of hurricanes come in within a few days and wiped them out a, yeah. couple, a couple years ago. Yeah, in 2017. Yes, yes. Wow, and it's still just coming up, you know, from that. Oh, one second. I got paid. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, because I was living in, um, I was living in, in Savan in the Townhouse Hotel, which was three mm-hmm. stories tall. Nobody lived in there. It's condemned practically. It would be condemned over here. You know, the ceiling caving in. Right, right. I think two of the, two people lived up there. Me and this lady had been there for 28 years. That lived, that worked at the Marriotts. You know, that was right, about right. it. You got to sneak in and out, or you get mugged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Stop, stop crying right there. And, and she told me, she goes, "Don't you come in? You go all the way up by Vir- Virgilio's." And you go up and come back down around. You don't come straight through Savannah. Because they say, they see, they see you, they think you have money. I go, I do have money. <laughs> I had a suitcase full of money, but right. it, was, it was locked in a, like, a, like, a, like a jail cell, you know, where I had to go in yeah. and out with big old padlocks and stuff. You know? so it's like, That's uh, crazy. All his money, and <laughs> couldn't go. <laughs> yeah, I came back, bought a car, sure. you know, bought the BMW. <laughs> all that. So, all right, all right. Buy some clothes, got back home. <laughs> but yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, the the now the hotels. Uh, I know Windward is okay, and, and uh, yeah, they're good. They're yeah, they're still running. A lot of the hotels are, are Belongo Bay, Iggy's where I DJ karaoke got wiped out. Bluebeard's right. Castle where I DJ karaoke got wiped out. You know, right. And then I worked at uh, was a Midnight Zone. <laughs> Hello? Sorry. <laughs> and I might have lost the signal. So what I'll do is I'll roll a little footage, okay? And let me see. Can you hear me now? Okay, hang on. Molly, 
he did the same for Sonoma and Country, and he started it for Solano and Country. So like at one time, you know, full, he owned the California wine industry. He should have been like an award of God just walking on wine. Um, and he could have, should have been in a quadrillion or ten times over. Right. But unfortunately, you know, he passed away in his 40s, so unable to claim his heritage and his presidents, other entities that we now recognize as the first players in the game, came forth, got the credit, got the recognition, and the power. And it wasn't necessarily fact, but he wasn't here to him otherwise. Right. So, like, what do you do? Right. And his wife, over the years, started being alleviated and disappearing and taking off all publication and literature and content. And, um, you know, it's being revised in publications nowadays. I lost the signal, but I got it back. So, I'm rolling a little footage of you, man. At the winery. You know what I mean? And so... Um, and then, you know, after I uh, worked with them for a couple of years and we had some progress, I partnered with them on a brand and collaborated with Call Me One, which is, uh, they both had daughters, so it came to last thing to matter. If you're just not tuning in. And the fourth generation is the Julius Jackson, middleweight champion of the great great grandfather's of the world. His first name. So his name's Fulton. In the Napa Valley. And a couple years back, uh, they partnered with uh, a second one. Check it out. Right. Myself, my last name Elkin, which created Mather Elkin, M E Me Wine. Uh, <laughs> we got very creative with that, and uh, so with that brand priest is high in Cabernets from Credible Appalachians, you know, Fortify, and some other cool little blends. But I started to recognize a massive need. Let's walk over this way too. I'll take you out to the deck, even though they're kind of putting it back together. Pick it up. You should have came here about two weeks ago. We shouldn't have, but if you would have been here two weeks ago. Those vineyards were just thick, just like overgrowth of the mustard. It's neon yellow. You have to drive. This is three, four, a situation oh, area boxing. Where it's hard to get to. This time, considering this one right here, we're right off it, immediately accessible and recognizable. The chef. Main thing of the valley. Oh uh, yeah. This is extremely secluded. Was not where to get here. So it's really cool. In the Napa Valley, in Cali. Hang on. Location is like everything, right? Yeah. It's snuggly. And check it out. I'm going to sign off, but first I'm going to say goodbye to one of my guests. Hey, man. I lost the signal for a split. I lost the signal for a split second. And while I did that, I played the video of you out in the vineyards, you know, in the winery, right, nights, and right. I talked about that a little bit, so I patched it in. Yeah, that was, that was a good time. I thought, well, if I, got, I thought, if I got YouTube, I must have, you know, a signal, so I call you back. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. But I'll, right, let, right. I'll let you go. I know you're busy, you know, um, yeah, doing, doing your charity work. Patch that link into me, and we'll put it in as a comment. Uh, and this will be compressed and uploaded in about an hour. Probably won't go on TV for six yeah. months. TV station's closed. Put on LinkedIn, Google, awesome. Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, everything. And uh, awesome, yeah, man. I'll, I'll send you that link. And I will let you go and play a little uh, music video from Savan, and, uh, and read yeah. some read some credits. Got a lot of lot of lot of credits stuff. Also got you a yep. um, autographed headshot. No, I'm just fooling. <laughs> <laughs> and you get a new car. Not a very big car, but it's a new car. Oh, nice. I like that. <laughs> and and uh, I will let you go. Yeah, Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, Bobby. All right, God bless you. Yeah, appreciate your time. Tell, you, you, tell your pops I said hi. Also middleweight champion of the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will. I will. I'll tell him. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you, man. All right. Peace. Much Peace love. Out. All right, bet. And that was... Julius, the chef, Jackson, middleweight champion of the world, the world, Craig, the world, okay? And right about now, I got you the new music video of Savon. Ah, oh, yeah. Boy, howdy, guest of the television show, stay in the ring. We, transportation provided by open air safari bus. I'd like to thank our guest, Julius the Chef Jackson. Ah, yeah.
Also, also, thank our audience, thanks guys, Napa Valley the best in the world. Wanna thank thanks to Napa's finest hair salon, Auto City, Audio House, Napa Gold and Silver, Emmy Loose Diner, Polish Nails and Spa, Doc's Trophy Shop, Hair in Motion, Sal the Flower Guy, by the high school, Dr. Frazier, AV Audio Visual, God bless you and yours, and pretty much subscribe to our YouTube channel. See that little thing in the corner? Hit that button, subscribe. Thank you. And so God bless you and yours. Pretty much where space goes from the West Coast. Ah, uh, yeah. Peace in the Middle East, South Central St. Thomas. Ah, uh, yeah. That's the ticket.